Microsoft has lifted the lid on the specifications for the Xbox Series X, and it's been surprisingly eye-opening for us PC gamers. With AMD at the helm of chip design and bringing the RDNA 2 architecture to the next-gen console party, the announcement from Xbox offers us a glimpse of what's in store for our gaming PCs in 2020. You may have heard the news already. AMD is delivering a GPU capable of 12 teraflops with the new Xbox Series X. In theory, that's the equivalent of NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti, but only in terms of raw compute power. Compute bandwidth does not necessarily a great gaming card make, Vega taught us that. So let's break down what a 12 teraflop Xbox chip means for AMD's graphics card lineup, RDNA 2, and likely even Big Navi. Following the Xbox team's announcement, we know a little more about the 4K GPU AMD's been hiding in its back pocket. At 12 teraflops from the GPU alone, it would appear AMD has wrangled together a mighty powerful GPU. On paper. That may sound like a tantalizing prospect for PC gamers, but 12 teraflops is not indicative of actual gaming performance. There's a whole heap of architectural optimizations between compute capability and higher FPS in-game. Take, for example, AMD's RX Vega 64. This Vega GPU is rated to 12.66 teraflops, pretty much on par with the proposed Series X GPU, and by that metric, the Vega GPU should be up there with NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti 2. Yet the RX Vega 64 never gets close. That's because the Vega architecture is based on GCN, or Graphics Core Next, and best suited to compute-focused tasks. To get up to speed in-game, Vega requires active optimizations, which few developers saw fit to introduce. Hence why RDNA was created, an architecture forked off from GCN and built from the ground up for gaming. Yep, AMD totally forked Vega, sorry. But herein lies the issue. We cannot say for sure how great an improvement RDNA 2 will be over Vega, nor how much performance everything AMD's bring to the table will count up for against Nvidia Turing. Essentially, an apples to apples comparison is out of the question. Rather, we can at least speculate as to the gaming performance versus the existing high-end RDNA graphics card, the RX 5700 XT. The RX 5700 XT peaks around 9.8 teraflops and delivers performance somewhere between the RTX 2060 Super and the RTX 2070 Super, depending on the game and API in use. It's also some 12% faster across our benchmarking suite than the RX 5700, which sits at 7.9 teraflops compute performance. By that logic, an RDNA GPU with 12 teraflops would manage performance capable of breaking into the upper echelons of NVIDIA's high-end RTX 20 series graphics cards, and would be at least 12% faster than the RX 5700 XT. With a little reverse engineering of the provided specs, we can deduce that such a GPU will be most likely fit with either 48 or 56 compute units, the final clock speed of which is dependent on the total number of cores. Roughly 1.6 GHz will be required for a 56 CU GPU to hit 12 teraflops, or just under 2 GHz for a 48 CU GPU. So we know the bare minimum performance increase we can expect with this sizable RDNA 2 chip, 12%, but that's not the end of this story. We also know that AMD will be opting for the 7nm plus process node from TSMC for RDNA 2, which promises moderate improvement to the existing 7nm node employed across AMD's existing Ryzen and Navi lineup. Along with efficiency upgrades produced by the synergy between Radeon and Zen teams, we suspect the real deal to be some degree faster than that minimum 12% performance boon. So is this Big Navi? Well, it's looking highly likely that the GPU headed to the Xbox Series X is one and the same, or something very similar at least. This high-end graphics card is poised for release sometime this year, but that's about all we know regarding this Nvidia killer. Such a chip would fulfill AMD's promise to similarly disrupt 4K as Ryzen has the CPU market, and the R&D costs have already been taken care of, courtesy of Microsoft and, to some degree, Sony too. Yet regardless of final specifications for such a graphics card, the use of AMD technology in both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and whatever else they're dreaming up over at Microsoft and Sony can only be a boon to AMD's Zen 2 and RDNA ecosystem. It looks like AMD will finally have a graphics card capable of competing with the very best from Nvidia, and we're set to hear more about RDNA 2 over AMD's Financial Analyst Day on March 5th, so stay tuned for that. So here's to console manufacturers. Thanks for chucking tons of money at AMD, which in turn will make our gaming PCs all that much better. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and let us know in the comments below your predictions for Big Navi and Xbox Series X. We'd love to hear them. And as always, check back on the channel for more in gaming and hardware and over on the website pcgamesn.com. See you next time.